guys, this is our new background. Mom will post it there. I'm sorry, I'll keep There you go. So, today, I'm going to be talking about the backstory of my channel. So, it was basically in 2014. This was very far. And I never knew I would get this far, but it's not that far. But I'm experiencing a level, and I'm experiencing a level 5 or something. <laughs> but each subscriber, that's how many you are. So, um, I'm experiencing level 24. And hopefully we'll be experiencing level 30. So, everyone else, if you got a mini subscribe. Oh, sorry. I want to maybe put that out. No, I'm not. I want to keep that in. What a fail. But, anyway, so, yeah, yesterday I uploaded a video to Cameron Brandon. Now, you can't just come on my channel and do that, because, you know, you can't just offend me. Because, no, you can't just come and do that. Because, yeah, that's quite offensive and you guys and get this book this oh man this is amazing you know what it says it says the amazing spy man coming home it's amazing like i'll give you a short preview so um here we go so um yeah uh here's a page i'm not gonna put photos on because that'll be copyright but um like you should definitely write this book like i gotta say this is about I don't know, them fighting or something. There's a page before. He's basically ripping people's things. I'm not going to spoil it too much. This is the first issue, and I'm not going to spoil anything. So, yeah, definitely. So, I'm not going to spoil anything for the Walking Dead comics because I do have a couple. So, I'm not going to do that. So, please don't ask me to do that. Okay? Because then that's not going to be that's not going to be a good thing. But I'll give some spoilers out. We're going to do a video on this today. So we're going to give top ten spoilers that give us warnings for the video. Well, no, we're going to do spoilers that has been has been involved in this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, if you didn't watch many videos on YouTube and the news and stuff. There was meant to be a Spider-Man 3, and this was an at the time, this is out this year. But if Spider-Man 3 was to, it was to come this year, but sometime this year, I'm not going to say when. You should go and find out. Um, it was going to come out this year, but it was cancelled. It was cancelled. Or it would have came out last year, I have no idea when this was going to come out. But I think this would have gave lots of spoilers for Spider-Man 3 and 4 and 5. Amazing Spider-Man. Three, four, five. So um, yeah, this would be a dramatic thing. So now the spoilers we have got included. Now this is going to be awesome. We've got the whole Marvel roster, not the whole, but we've got some people involved. In this, we have got Wolverine, Iron Man, Spider-Man, of course, but the normal Spider-Man, not Amazing Spider-Man, and Hawk and Marvel roster. So roster. So yeah. Um, every single um, part is is a huge moment because you know this is very important and it's also got about the uh, books that is going on and the origins of Spider-Man yeah we have got lots of people that we haven't seen before we have got this guy don't think you've ever seen him see this guy oh you probably can't him there he sees her yeah I don't think he we've ever seen him but Hopefully we will get a preview of this, and the spoilers we might get to see him in one of the Spider-Man movies. Because so far we have not seen any appearance of this man, and I'm not going to say who he is, and I'm not going to say when he shows up, and I'm not going to say... Well, it is a spoiler video, but I'm not going to say when he was coming, I'm not going to say how. And yeah, um, some guy beat him up i i'm not gonna say who and i'm not okay i will i will i changed my mind so this guy um you won't see him because i'm not gonna say who it is 
Oh, I am. Because it's actually Wolverine. No, it's an older version of Wolverine. Because like I said, it involves these characters. I find out that that's very cool because I like to get like Marvel roast roster in this book. Also, I'm very interested in this book because I want to give out some three spoilers. Now, Wolverine is very, very old here, and then he gets like imagined, and then he actually. Oh wow! No way! Whoa, that is all okay. I'm gonna tell you what happens. Okay, so where are we? Okay, so Batman is, I mean, Spider Man is being. Ah, oh. so yeah, let me show you that. I can show you that. So, Spider Man is literally without his t shirt with his back. Now, this is a mess for because Wolverine is done and he, the guy, I don't know who this guy is, but I just showed you him, part of him. Well, no, I do know who he is, but I'm not going to say who, because then I'll just spoil everything, I feel like, but, ow, my neck. But, um, you know, he, he prevents... Uh, Wolverine to jump off the building and say oh, I'm sorry and then actually no it's easy oh I know it's not Wolverine but it's like a, a replica of Wolverine this guy is actually easy call now as a Q as a Q easy Q I don't know what his name is but you know we have got some of the things that we need to go through so let's carry on going so now we have got 35 stack 35 yeah i'm gonna get the book so you can see go and see 35 some Use the way. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, and we've also got, uh, we've also got involved. We have got the Fantastic Four. I forgot his name. But we have got Captain America. We have got Black Widow, Thor, Daredevil, and I forgot. I think that's um, I have no idea. But you know, these these comics are worth. And this was only, um, it was 9.99, but they decided to do an offer since it's the first one. And this is a very important sequence, not because it is the first appearance of the amazing Spider-Man, but it is because he's back, he's coming home. Now, it's not the first appearance of the amazing Spider-Man, but then many more. But this is the story that we want to know. And right now, this guy is going mad. He's going mad. He's beating up Spider Man. And Spider Man almost lost until he gets his power back. So, yeah. And he will defeat this guy. Now, what we're going to is the end. No, I'm going to tell the origins of this. So, so I'm going to tell the backstory of this. Okay, I'm not going to say who. This is so this story so far. Things leading up to the Spider-Man coming home. Okay. Following the defeat of his Archenemy the Green Goblin. Archenemy, yeah. Peter Parker decides to quit being Spider-Man in order to have a normal life with his beautiful supermodel wife, Mary Jane. However, it is not long before Peter is forced to pick up his webs once again and become Spider-Man. So, you know, he's becoming back to Spider-Man. This decision to resume his superhero activities puts his marriage to Mary Jane under a great deal of stress. To make matters worse, a mysterious stranger begins to stalk MJ, Mary Jane after a battle with the Sinister Six. So, yeah, those are basically another group. I'm not going to say who they are again. Um... Peter returns home to find that Mary Jane has left for the airport on a modelling assignment. 
Because that's just strikes when MJ Jane's plane explodes in midair. Despite mounting evidence that Mary Jane is dead, Peter refuses to accept his wife's demise. As Spider Man, he searches far and wide to find evidence that she is still alive, even travelling to Latveria. I thought that said Latvia. <laughs> Latvia. The domain of Doctor Doom. I saw. I knew it was Doctor Doom. So we've got domain of Doctor Doom, which is this guy. I'm not going to say what he looks like, but it's not that guy I just showed you. Doctor Doom is different. It's this guy here. And we all know who Doctor Doom is, right? Because you know. Unfortunately, the web slinger is unsuccessful in discovering the location of his missing wife. So yeah, keep updated on, especially this. So we've got some more to read. Here we go. Just as he begins to accept her death, Peter learns that his wife is still alive. Mary Jane Stork had been kim had kidnapped kidnapped her just before she boarded the plane and set off the bomb to cover his tracks. Peter discovers where Mary Jane is being held and rescues her. Though the couple are briefly reunited. Mary Jane's kidnapped ordeal proves too much for their relationship and she makes a decision to leave Peter. Um, I'm sorry, Peter. So I wanna write. I'm gonna see what um Peter said. Sunrise. If you had to ask me, twenty four year hours. Also, where to be? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Surprise. If you had asked me, twenty four hours. Also, where? I had been in my life right now. So we're going on to the first page. The Amazing Spider-Man hashtag 30, so it's a 30th um, origin story. Now it's not origins all the time, okay, so, you know, he's putting on his mask and he's at, like, um, in the street, street paths. No, street. Okay. So, he's basically getting ready now, and he's getting his things back. And he's doing some pretty damn moves, man. So, this is when everything goes bad, like, um, you know he's at school right now. So, you know, it's... Okay, so here's our first introduction and first in first origin of is equal. So is EQ. Um so he's basically saying, Am I a friend or an enemy? So if you don't know the comics you won't know who Ezekiel is or you might he's he hasn't been I think he has had an appearance in one of the movies or he hasn't. But this part is very important because you know it's not it's not totally normal. Ow. Sorry my neck really hurts right now. It really hurt. Oh stop Okay let's do it. So yeah he's basically on top of a building doing stunts and stuff. Yeah. Now, his eye is covered with black and stuff. So you know we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get his introduction in one of the Spider-Man movies yet. But we could say we do. We could see him in the last. We could have seen him in the last Spider-Man movie that we had. Um, I'm not really sure, but Ezekiel is a very important character. Because, you know, he, he put his life in Spider-Man's life, and he was the one who trusted him. Um, and he's jumped off the building and stuff, so, you know, he's actually saying some really helpful things to Spider-Man. And, you know, he says, he's like he's gonna die, but he doesn't die because he's in later. But he does die later, so... Yeah. Now, 
What we gotta say is there are lots of characters in this that we've never seen. Oh my gosh. I wish I could get this on, but I'm not gonna swap the cameras because you know it'll be awkward to do that and then I'll just put it together and I'll take it won't take longer at all, it'll just make the process longer to edit and upload so I am doing a long video because you know this might be on for an hour. I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna do this for. So yeah, um I'll be back and yeah. So yeah, this may be be done for like twenty minutes or something. Oh no. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Now, the screen time, it's very dark. Like, the thing, it's a dark and Spider Man and, you know, this other character, I'm not gonna say who. Because then he's gonna spoil the whole thing, and yeah. And yeah, basically, he just killed his friend. Now, this part is very important. Now, I'm gonna go into fully detail here. Now, we all know who this man is, and we all have heard of him. This is Peter's, um... So, Peter's here, of course, and he's thinking of Ezekiel. Now, we don't know why he's processingly feeling this way, but he's feeling sad. Because, you know, we don't get to... We don't get the full storyline of Ezekiel, all we get is parts of him. And he's remembering the time, and he's, th and he's thinking of a different Ezekiel, like he was an evil Ezekiel. Ezekiel isn't evil, he's just a bad villain of the storyline. Um, so, you know, it's a year in review of this, and he's being bullied, he's being punched, and he's gone back to those moments, and he's thinking of his Uncle Ben sometimes. It's not like all the times he's thinking of Uncle Ben. He's also thinking of a different him. So, um, and, you know, Peter's talking about, um, you know, he's talking about the lawyers. And we get another appearance of Ezekiel faking his death. So, well, he wasn't faking his death. But he said, like, I'll be in touch, as if he was going to give give him his spirit to, you know, other characters. I'm not going to say who. Now we've got some pretty bad villains here. And I'm not going to say which ones. That's why you should get this by yourself. Now, these are a lot of spoilers, I'm telling you now. So, yeah, this is very spoilery. Now, he's basically with these people that were meant to be in the Spider-Man history. Now... They were going to put them in the Spider-Man 3 in 2005 or something. I don't know when that was. They were meant to put him in the exact operation. And they were meant to replace Doctor Doom. Well, Doctor Doom we didn't get a full appearance of. We did see him in a couple of the Spider-Man movies. Now, we don't... We see the backstory of Mary Jane, his girlfriend. What we don't see is we don't see these villains here that we have never heard of. Now, these villains are with Ezekiel. And like I said, he's a bad villain. But to Parker, he's just... Pardon me. He's just a normal human being, which is very important because, you know, he's... Spider Peter Parker, in his Spider-Man costume, is now seeing... What Ezekiel is doing, and he's being powered by these people. So now we've got a fight with a red-eyed um, human. I'm not going to say who because you know he was saying I'm not going to say who, but you know it's it's big. And now we're back to his work, and he's back to he's probably to think now. There is another spider, um, and he's picking it up, and he's basically putting three on him. No, he's he's putting it on him. So yeah. And now he's going to the exit and the um, spider's walking away. And then he says, what the? And you see his face and we see Spider-Man's face, so that's cool. Now we see... Who is that guy? Another villain shooting a gun. Now this, and he's got like some friends with him. Now this is intense. 
Um, this is also for kids too, so kids, if you want to buy this, you can buy this. It's, um, any rated. But this has got lots of things, and now Peter Parker is stepping up to himself, and he's getting mad. Now, these two villains, maybe four or five with him, there's lots of villains. He's, there's one with green hair, and he's got some glasses, and there's this guy in fully geared armour that is, that is, looks strong and is big. I'm kind of fat. Um, now we see Peter Parker with the kid fighting. So you know it is very important. And now we and that person was actually a kid. Now I think it was a school student, but it does look here when you see his part of his face like. This. He looks like he's an old elder, but he's not. Now, this part is very weird because he's running away. Oh no. I just skipped a couple of times as an accident. Now, do not skip this part because this. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what did I just do? I just. I just went back a couple of pages. Oops. Okay, we were here. So now. Okay, so now he's finally getting to his thing, and he's seeing people. He's finally getting to his costume. It's my man. Now we see his face. We don't see the villain's face, but we see his part of his hand that is sticking out. Now that part is very, very, very cool. So yeah, we're gonna skip a little bit. So yeah. Um, back and he's attacking the man now we don't get who this guy is so I'm gonna explain his backstory oh we do know who this guy is so I'm not gonna say who it is because then it's gonna spoil it for you but it's this guy I I, I wh how did he get from Peter Parker's hands in that costume and then all the way to a what that isn't that is impossible. So yeah, we're back to the Black Peter Parker. Now the main spoiler in this part. Now there are more villains. Um, there is a guy saying "shut up," which very weird. And they spell, and he said "shut up," "shut up." Now we see uh, the amazing Spider-Man. Hashtag thirty-two. Sorry, this is a thirty-two, thirty-second part. Now, what we see here is a giant mutant spider, and we see Spider-Man climbing up a wall. So this part is going to be very good. So yeah, I can't wait to read this part. Um, so we're going to read it. Um, I'm going to give you a little spoiler free, so I'm going to read it. Until 472, we confirm that the suspect has taken a hostage. Repeat, the suspect has taken a hostage. Get back or I will kill her. I swear to God, I will kill her. So this guy's threatening this, the people. I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> I keep saying I'm not going to say who it is. But, you know, I don't want to spoil it. And that's why I'm saying it too much. And I don't want to spoil it anymore. So, yeah, we passed that part. So now we're going to go on to... So we know who the girl is. It's not... Well, it could be uh, Mary Jane, I'm not going to say. Now, what we see now is Spider-Man. Now, it, it's obviously Mary Jane. See the process. And it's Spider-Man with his reps written, Loser. And that looks very cool, because I don't want to show you the page. It's not. It's a huge novel. You should definitely get it. Now, this is probably the only offer you'll get, and it's 9.99 next time you get it. So, yeah. Um, so now we get back to Ezekiel. And Peter Parker is seeing him. Like, he's actually seeing him this time. And we are at... Uh, there is a, there's Peter Parker and Ezekiel together. Eating. Now, wait, is that Peter Parker and him? I don't really know. But now we get appearance of the wolf. Now, the wolf is a huge character. 
that dresses up as a wolf and is like is obsessed with ancient things. Now I'm not gonna tell her your backstory. Tell you her backstory. Now we're back to Doctor Doom and Ezekiel and oh look, it's Captain America. Okay, I'm gonna show you that. And we got the lizard guy. So. Captain America, here he is. He's still the same book. Captain America. Here, yeah, I'm gonna show you this page. Not cool. This see Ezekiel. That is Ezekiel. And we got these guys. Now I forgot that guy's name, but we will definitely get back to that guy as course and I'll update you about him about what his backstory is and we got the lizard guy of course now the lizard guy is a doctor if you don't know not Doctor Doom because we've already seen Doctor Doom's appearance in many things but I told you we have got the first appearance of Captain America in the Spider-Man um, cultural and we have definitely got the rest of the characters that we have seen we got Black, we got many more characters that I am going to show you Maybe not, but I will tell you that they are in here. Now, Ezekiel isn't a villain. He is a villain of Spider-Man's history. But he's not a main... A main human. So... He's not evil, he's just... The kind of guy... That is... Is intact with the bag people bad villains now this part is definitely one of the most important parts I can say and I will see now we see Ezekiel now so you know we got moving moments that we have not seen okay so I, I know who this guy is but this guy who's evil and he's got red eyes is the best he is. Oh, um, I so we're on to 33, the 33rd part, and we now see Ezekiel doing more stunts. Wow, he's very good at climbing walls. I gotta say, yeah, a good wall climber. Mom, yeah. Um. Now, I'm not. I'm not very interested about who. We are fighting, but I'm very interested about their backstories because this is intense. Now they're fighting. Um, I'm not, I, don't, I forgot who this guy is, but I'll have a look at his roster because there is a roster. Sorry about that. Got a roster about who this guy is. Now we all know that Spider-Man does get beaten a lot. But he always comes back with revenge and vengeance, so, you know, this is basically another power out too, revenge and vengeance. Now, we're going to go into that now, because since I did that. Um, so, we are in the sequence where we are definitely getting into the origins of this man. And now we don't really see who, who are... Who are these people? But we know that we don't know all the students. We we are part of this part of this storyline because we are the people that are reading it. And then we've got another block page focusing on the We've Got Ezekiel again, and he is he's merely always angry. He he does smile. He's a very emotional guy. He's very serious and he's very depressed. I can say. And he's very trickster, so, you know, we have got, we have got a huge, huge, huge appearance here. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this guy is huge. I love Ezekiel's character, because it is amazing, and it is huge. No. This is emotional. This is very emotional. Ezekiel is always saying goodbye and he always 
has his head down, but now he's putting it up, and he has a gun with him. Now this is an easter egg, now we are getting a reference to the Black Plane of Death. Now the Black Plane of Death is very, 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 very hidden. We do not know, it, no, it's his toy, it is definitely his toy, but we are seeing the shape of a submarine. What else could it be other than the spoilerest, the spoilerest thing ever, the black, the, the black.